Good day, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we we're going to look at how to track and find animals in this game. And I thought, you know what? What a better opportunity than to show you guys an area that I haven't even discovered yet uh, fully. As you can see, I have probably 80 to 85% of the map discovered and have gone through and walked through all the major areas I've gotten, except this bottom left corner down here as you can see I've kind of walked into it and then backed out and I've, I've even come into it over here a little bit but as you can see we have these points uh, that I have not discovered yet and in fact I have no animals uh, except a couple here on the edges because of uh, need zones that I found um, briefly in this area that being said I got nothing else in here and I said you know what why don't we show you guys how you can be like me finding tracking and patterning those animals easier in this game so you don't feel like it's only up to chance i know that when i first started i was walking around and i'm like dude yeah you can walk around and you're gonna find animals everywhere but as you progress you're gonna need to hone in on your skills how can you find animals and kill animals consistently uh, in this game so that you're not spending hours and hours of your time in a hunting stand uh, game time hours and hours maybe even in real life hopefully not hopefully this video can help you so we're gonna go ahead as you can see I haven't done anything new we're gonna go ahead and I'm for the sake of this video I'm just gonna walk this path as you can see there's a path right here that goes in and we're just gonna stay on that path and see if we can't find any signs of animals now to do this, let me go ahead and show you my kit that I'm running. Uh, I currently am running the 300 Win Mag. It is a fantastic rifle, a tier 6 rifle. I also have a 30 out 6 with me, a tier 5 rifle in case we run into any deer up here or um, bighorn sheep or mountain goats, anything like that, we can take care of them. But I wanted to bring a tier 6 and a tier 5 rifle over into these mountains because I know we're probably going to be finding some uh, big game up here. Um, in, included in my kit, I, I got my binos, I got my deer collar, my uh, elk collar with the bugles, and I went ahead and brought a predator call for those bears or gray wolves that we might find in here. As you can see, we have gone a little bit ways in and we've come up to this pond, okay? Uh, let me just say right off, whenever you are in the woods walking around scouting for animals get used to having your hunter sense on i pretty much have it on all the time and what hunter sense does is as you walk around the area it is actually going to illuminate and highlight a particular sp uh, spot on the ground which indicates what is called a need zone a need zone is a place where an animal does one of three things that they need to do to survive. Uh, those three being they need water, they need to be drinking water, they need to be eating, and they need a place to rest, a, a place to bed down. So as you're walking around the map, have your hunter sense on because otherwise, I'm turning it off, I don't think anything's here anyway, but otherwise it's really difficult to find anything look at that perfect example I I didn't even see those trees there walking over here it looks like there's nothing but once you activate your hunter sense boom there is our need zone once you've identified a need zone you're gonna wanna go up to it anywhere anywhere on it I'm just walking up to these guys these tr these uh, little trees and I'm gonna, we're, you're going to analyze it. Go ahead and analyze it. Boom. New discovery made in this area. We found a need zone for elk. And what it's going to tell, it's going to give us some very important information. It's going to tell us the animal species up in that top right corner. It's going to tell us what they're doing. Are they eating? Are they sleeping? Are they drinking water? In this case, obviously, they're eating here. And then it's going to tell us how frequently they use this area and in this case it says often they come here quite often so that's good news for us that tells us that hey in general elk are here often 
Once you have discovered a new need zone for an animal like we just did, check this out. We're going to open up our map. Once you have found a particular need zone of an animal, and they could have many in a greater area, it's going to give you this little elk icon. And all I, all I have to do is if, if I want to know where those, those animals are, where those need zones are, I just hover over it, press show need zones, and look at that. We just discovered an eating need zone, and boom, it's going to give us the eating uh, need zone for the elk right here. Now, it's important to note that the icon for the elk is over here. The need zone icon is over here behind us. And yet we found those trees right here. So this isn't a hard science. These icons do not mean that you will find elk right in this area every single time. It also doesn't mean that you're going to find elk eating in this spot every single time. No, no, this is a very general idea of where you can find those animals. Next thing that I want you to do, guys, once you find a need zone, open up that encyclopedia. Get used to using your encyclopedia. Hunter Sense, your encyclopedia, amazing tools that you guys need to utilize every single time you're in in the valley <laughs> open up your encyclopedia go ahead and go to animals scroll on down to where we find our tier 6 animals which is an elk and then check this out guys it's gonna give us all kinds of information that we need for elk we want to see that life cycle and this is key information for honing in on those animals it tells you when they're sleeping when they're eating water when they're drinking water uh sleeping taking a taking that afternoon nap and again they're eating at 5 p.m and drinking water around 10 p.m do not get discouraged if you go to an area and they're not there okay as we just saw elk are generally eating around 5 a.m and 5 p.m that's just very general uh it's not a hard science so don't get discouraged if you go to one area and you're like, uh, it's 5 p.m. where or 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. Where are all the elk? You know, maybe you go sit up on that ridge and you're just watching this hillside and they're not showing up. It's not guaranteed that they're going to be there just like in real life. You can do all the homework. You can track them. You could have all the pictures. But when you go out to hunt, if the animals aren't cooperating that day, they're not going to cooperate, guys. So don't get discouraged with that. But I will say that doing and tracking your animals this way, utilizing your encyclopedia to see uh, when those animals are going to be there, uh, that's how you're going to maximize your hunts. That is how you're going to bag the biggest game in the game. And uh, it's going to cut down on, on a lot of your waiting time. Uh, just sitting around hoping for something to come along so with that information guys what i'm going to do and i hope this works out i am actually going to try to get an elk uh here on this hillside somewhere around those eating times to show you that hey it's not guaranteed but it's really going to boost your chances of finding those elk in this area so let me go ahead we're going to go back to dustin's cabin we're going to take a quick nap and we're going to fast forward to about 4 uh 4 30 a.m and we're going to come and like i said we're probably going to go set up on that hillside and we're going to see if this works or not Alrighty, it is the next morning it is windy it is chilly it is approximately 4.30 a.m. And I figure we got this super strong wind blowing to the east, uh, which means we don't want to come over here at all. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hike around this way, up this hillside, probably follow this path, and uh, probably set up somewhere in this area so I could see, give me the best shot at any animals that might be coming down in here. Hopefully we'll find those elk uh, in a bit. Even though it is dark 
uh, with your hunter sense on, especially this early in the morning, look how beautifully it illuminates these need zones around the river. Water sources are a huge, huge uh, source to find need zones. And all I do is I go around and I just mash the E button to find uh, different need zones. And again, uh, once you do that, you can open up your map. Check that out. We found a little icon pops up and it's telling us where they're drinking. Um, elk are eating at 5 a.m. So uh, we're here. We're in the right spot. We know that they should be here if they are going to be here. And now it's just the waiting game, uh, uh, sitting and being patient. Um, normally, I, I would probably be walking around a little bit, trying to stir something up. Uh, stir up. Uh, maybe they'll make some s noises for me. Maybe they'll bugle. If I get too close, maybe the, you know, the females will start getting alerted and all that. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to stay put. We, we're in a good spot right here. And uh, we're going to sit and be patient. So we're sitting here. It's starting to get lighter out. It's about 5.40 in game. 5.40 a.m. And after doing some reconnaissance, guys, even though they are right there, I'm, I'm going to guess that they're coming in from this direction. See my cursor? From these this area. Um, as you can see, and, and from what I've been noticing, is this is just a, a bowl. Um, there's really nowhere for them to come in from except for a path that you can almost see that goes up into the mountain right there and you can see it go up into the mountain right here. The other way that they could come down is over here and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if uh, there were some elk hanging out in this area as well. But it looks like my only options for where they could come from are gonna be from behind me coming down or they're gonna be coming from this area in. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I go ahead and, and move uh, to a better location in a, in, a, in a few minutes. But we're going to hang tight at least for a, a few more minutes and see what we can come up with. So part of hunting, like I said, is being adaptable to the situation. I don't see any elk coming from over on that ridge. And it's hard to see, but I also don't see any elk coming through the trees or coming from that uh, fields in the valley over there. So you know what? We are going to do what I didn't want to do. And we're going to go ahead and hike up here because we know that elk in general are in this area. I'm just going to look back down here as we go up to see if I can see anything. It is a little, it's starting to get lighter, like I said, just to see if anything does end up coming uh, through there into the area and uh, I have an, if I have an opportunity to turn around and, and look back at a particular spot I will do it use your binoculars guys use your binoculars as you can see we have found the elk and unfortunately I wasn't crouched as I was walking through um, but they are right there they're not that far away at all if you get within a hundred this distance they will get alerted guys and uh, it's even worse because my wind is literally blowing right in that direction and contrary to what i told you it looks like they're literally on that spot that doesn't happen normally guys this is literally a funny coincidence uh, that they're literally on the icon right now and not where you know at a need zone um, Hopefully we're just gonna stay still uh, I'm probably gonna need to figure out the wind situation a little bit and figure out a game plan Do I go left? Do I go right? But as you can see, you know, we started off down here. All right. They weren't there right away Let's go ahead and formulate a plan 
uh, and we I decided to move up here. Walked with my hunter since on, found a couple of other need zones, found a, a mountain goat need zone right here. Um, and again, you know, we can go to the encyclopedia. We can look at mountain goat need zones, and they're actually should be around in this area as well. Uh, it is 6.30 a in game time, 6.30 a.m. And uh, hopefully we can uh, not spook these elk out of here and we can bag one this morning. Can't quite see them yet, but they're right over. It looks like this kind of dips down behind here. It kind of dips down into a little area right there. Um, I know so what some of you guys are thinking some of you guys are like well why didn't I use my bugle call right there quite frankly it was because they were already alerted to my presence and bugling might actually spook them more uh, because uh, they know that there's something there that they don't know my scent is blowing that way so it could actually do more harm than good in the game uh, if I did start bugling so what I did was I went ahead and I crouched, I went away from them, and then I circled back uh, to where I could get a, into a, diff, a better position with more eyesight, uh, range of view, and uh, I'll probably start bugling here and see what we can come up with. Typically, um, I personally like to see the animals that I am calling, but that's not everybody. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's completely okay to blind call like this. We know that they're there, we just don't know exactly what kind of elk are there. Are they one star, two stars, matures, youngs? Nothing's called back yet, and I used both of the calls. Always make sure hunting sense is on. And I still don't see them. So what I did was I just walked around in a, in a little half circle here so I could maybe get a better view. Uh, nothing called back on the bugles. So that's very interesting. And again, I'm, I'm, I would have... They wouldn't call back because they were already alerted. Uh, animals are smart in this game. They were already alerted to my presence, and so... Uh, that is definitely a contributing factor to why they did not call back. And look at that. Oh boy, they know I'm here. Woo! We got a one star mature. And he's looking right at me. We are going to go ahead and call him. Uh, this once. Ooh, no, 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 no. Don't get spooked. Don't get spooked. We're going to call him out of the herd because he's a one star. Uh, and he's a mature, a one-star adult. We could also probably go ahead and call him. But look at these guys. They're acting so timid. They see me. They know I'm here. So getting a shot off is going to be uh, difficult, to say the least. Oh, there he is. So uh, he might actually give me a shot right here. The old 300 win mag. If he stops for a second, I gotta take it. Let's see. He's not giving me a shot. Man. That guy looks nice.
That is unfortunate, guys. Man. All right, don't worry. We are going to uh, wait till they pass. My wind is blowing right in their face right now, so they might get uh, a little uneasy. Uh, but we're going to get them. Don't worry. All right, so I have to uh, go wide again. Uh, huh. We came from here, and uh, elk were here. They moved all the way down into this spot right here. They're somewhere in here just chilling right now. And so what I had to do was I, had to, I went ahead and I went way wide up along the hill, and I've come back around like this. And we're going to see if we can't catch them in a better position because uh, I did not have an angle on these guys from uh, where I was positioned last. So there is just no way that I'm going to get an angle on them from there without getting right up on them and possibly spooking them. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to come down to the river. Um, I'm going to come down to the river because they're somewhere right here. They're bugling. They're over there. They're having a good old time. They're, they're jawing at each other. Um, they're not super worried about me anymore, but what I've noticed is that the sound indicators are, are getting lower, as if they're coming down here. So my plan is now I'm going to get up on this hill, which is a little more open, and I will easily be able to see them from there. I, I should be able to stand up now and uh, do what I need to do to get these guys. There they are. Look at that. They know I'm here still. That is incredible. We got a nice three-star mature in there. We might actually go ahead and take him, guys. I don't think he's going to get to a five. So why don't we go ahead and take him? What do you guys think? You guys think that's a bad idea? You know what? That, oh, my goodness. Don't run. That is a bad idea, and I'll tell you why. There are one-star matures in that herd that I don't want reproducing. I would rather the three-star mature gene stay than keep the one or two stars. I have to be very careful right now because they know where... They, they got my number right now. They are all about it. Look at that. You can see them through the trees looking at me. Whew. All right, guys, we have found our one-star mature. We're going to take him if he gives us a shot. I'm pretty sure both of those are one-stars, but this guy is the one we want. Drop that boy with a good old 300 win mag, man. That feels great. Don't even have to chase him. Don't have to track blood. Nothing. We dropped him in his spot. That is awesome. Let's go and check him out. And those elk, as you can see, they're going behind the hill. They are gone. They actually might set up right there. Maybe I might, after this video, I might go and uh, try to call one more out of that herd. I'm going to go ahead and drop a marker over there because I might do that. Now, some people, you know, I, in real life, once you've shot an animal, it's always good to wait. Okay, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and wait just for a second longer. Uh, I might come down here and, and go ahead and check out these need zones. Always be looking at need zones. We found a drinking site. Beautiful. It's always good to wait, um, especially if that elk had run off. Just give it some time, guys. Don't go off and chase it right away because there's a good chance it's just going to keep on running if you continue to spook it and pursue it. So go ahead, take your shot. If you don't drop it and you don't see it go down right away, keep an eye on where it goes. Don't You don't want to lose it. Um, but just drop a marker on the spot that you shot it. Watch where it goes off into. And then just wait a minute or two for everything to kind of die down and then go track the animal. It's actually happened to me several times where I've shot an animal. I didn't wait long enough and I'm tracking it. I'm tracking the blood. Uh, it's a kill. It's going to die. It doesn't say that the animal survived or anything, but I've been tracking it and walked right up to the animal and it takes off running again. It's happened to me in this game 
uh, a handful of times because I didn't wait long enough for it to go down. And uh, I, I don't know if it was a glitch in the game, guys, but yesterday, just yesterday, I shot an elk. It was acting very sporadically. It was in an area where I hadn't seen elk before. Um, and it was acting weird. It, it was just weird. I took it out. I took the shot. Ended up dropping it like I dropped this guy here. Got back in the Jeep and I drove immediately to the spot to harvest the elk. The elk got up from where it had dropped and started running. So I don't know if that was a glitch. Let me know if that's happened to you. But I think enough time has passed. Let's go and check out our call. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, beautiful elk. Let's check out the kill shot. Oh my goodness, it's just a double lung. Do I nick the art? I barely nick that artery, don't I? Look at that, I barely nick the artery. Definitely double lunged it. Would it have killed it? Yeah, most likely, it might have taken some time, but a double lung is hard to come back from. Uh, but man, I was I, I thought I, I hit uh, the artery or even the heart. Beautiful elk. 37 percentile good glad that we called him um look at that he doesn't look awful you know what i mean he doesn't look awful at all he's got decent tines on him uh overall i mean come on now can't be too harsh on him beautiful shot placement um and all around a great hunt guys that is how you track animals in this game we're gonna go ahead and just sell him I hope you guys found this video uh, at least enjoyable or entertaining. Um, that is how I go into an area, I find animals, I track them using those need zones. And uh, I thought it was funny that um, they happen to be there at that time, you know. And I'm sure if I, if I walk around this area, I'll find another uh, eating zone for them as well for the same herd. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I, like I said, I hope you found it information, uh, informative and uh, helpful so that you can go out and you could have really fun hunts like, like the one that we just did. And I thought that hunt was really fun. You know, we, we walked in, got set up, nothing, walked up, found them. They were all over the place. We had to come around. That's a fun hunt to me. And uh, all by 9 a.m., needless to say so that you know that, that's a good day if you learned something or you appreciated the video guys go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel this is a brand new channel that we are starting i'm really excited about it and uh, your support would mean a lot to me it doesn't cost you anything um, but it means a whole lot to me until next time guys i am stagtastic we'll come at you with another video real soon out of the nez Purse Valley. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.